Hello, this is Leela Viss, and I'm the host of Key Ideas. In this episode, I'm back to the Off Bench Matters theme with a slight twist. Before I say more, make sure to listen to the past two episodes if you haven't done so already. First, be responsible to the health and well being of your students and listen to episode number 43, where Jim Litzelman shares sage advice on teaching technique to beginners and really to anyone. It is paramount that we hear and do what he says. Next, be responsible to yourself and your business and listen to episode number 42, where I talk about insurance for your studio. If you think your homeowner's insurance covers your studio or your piano, think again. Okay, now back to my off bench theme. Like I said, this episode comes with a twist because I'll be veering pretty far from the teaching bench and I'm not really touching on off bench activities either. Today, I'm sharing my work bench tools. I hadn't realized how much technology I rely on each day to keep my business up and running. Now, I do realize that I make assumptions easily, but I'm learning. I understand that not everyone may know about or know how to make the tech tools work for them. And so I've scripted this episode in a way to help you come to terms with where you're at and where you want to be with technology in the future. Grab your sneakers and earbuds And don't worry about taking notes, just listen, and then head to the show notes where you can get links for all my favorite tech tools. Now, before I get started, I'm curious, have you got your summer plans figured out? Will you be taking the summer off, keep on trucking with your normal schedule, or are you ready to change things up with a camp? It's not a camp with campfires and sleeping bags. It's a camp that fires up student learning with fun in groups on and, of course, off the bench. If you need some hot ideas for what to do in your studio during those long summer months, I just updated my website and organized all the available camp resources at lelavis.com under what I call Summer Camp Headquarters. Included is one of the most popular piano camps of all times, Miss Dorla's Musical STEM, where she mixes science with music. The connections she makes between science and music with clever science experiments are dynamite. Or perhaps you need a summer music camp of your own. If so, I plan to hold a couple of composiums with various themes. Composiums are meant to help teachers just like you become comfortable in your own creativity and notate it in note flight. Following a suggestion, I'm weighing the possibility of offering a composium for high school students too. Space is always limited to eight, so if you're interested or think your students may be interested, please send me an email at elvisatme.com. Now back to my favorite workbench tools that soon may become your favorite tools too. Two short years ago, you may not have been friends with Zoom. Most likely, you are now. I'm guessing that your relationship was a little rocky at first, especially since you were forced to pivot. It definitely was for me, even though I befriended and embedded tech tools in my studio when I first opened my doors in the early 90s. Think about why you chose to move lessons online. You wanted to continue lessons, connect with students, and maintain your business with a steady income. In the process, you witnessed how the right tech tools can work wonders on your behalf. Perhaps you're ready to implement technology beyond Zoom and a webcam. The best place to begin is the end. In other words, think about how you hope technology can meet your needs in the future. Are you looking to launch or update a studio website? Do you want to automate your billing? Are you interested in providing learning opportunities beyond your lesson time with students? Are you desperate to find tools that drill concepts beyond flashcards and theory books? Do you see others use technology to their advantage and want to do the same? Are you overwhelmed with what tools to use first? James Clear author of the best-selling book, Atomic Habits, claims that you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. If you want to enhance your studio with platforms and apps, then you must embrace a system and use it regularly. 
Remember how quickly you learned the ins and outs of Zoom or platforms because you used them for online lessons every day. After a couple of mornings of powering up our new espresso machine, I got the hang of it and now enjoy a custom cup of brew exactly to my liking. To reach and maintain our goals, it takes time and repetition. Technology will only serve you well if you make a habit of integrating it with consistency. Once you're committed to making space to develop a system, then it's time to decide which tech tool will serve you the best. Do this by determining the biggest obstacle you face in your current setup. For example, do you need help with organization of digital files, administration of billing and scheduling, communication with studio families, reinforcement of music concepts, sharing assignments? When a priority is set, then it's essential to develop a filter similar to mine. Because of the overwhelming number of options available, I use three criteria when considering tech tools of any kind. First, is it easy to use? Next, does it add value to precious lesson time or save me time? And last, is it customizable to suit my needs? Here's an abbreviated list of the apps or sites that have passed through my filter and ones that I highly recommend as you bypass obstacles and develop tech-savvy systems of your own. Keep in mind that I access most of these tools on my desktop computer. I've recently acquired a gorgeous yellow iMac. You know I'm a fan of yellow. The tools are usually, not always, but usually web-based, which means they require Wi-Fi. These tools can be accessed on smartphones and tablets, but I favor the iPhone and iPad. And most offer a free level or free trial with in-app purchases. For studio administration, My Music Staff is my go-to app. It's a studio management software that helps me manage my schedule, website, billing, online payments, communication with parents, and much more. Three of my favorite features of My Music Staff, students receive a reminder about their upcoming lesson the day before, which avoids any confusion about lesson day and time. During the summer months, I create a drop-in lesson option on my calendar. Students see when I'm available and sign up for lessons when it works around their busy summer schedule. And last, student families pay online. No more checks. Now for file organization, I turn to Google Drives and Docs. It's a cloud-based storage solution that includes options to generate and save files on the web and access them across your devices. Within Drive, you can create documents, spreadsheets, and forms, and easily share them with others with a link. I use Google Docs to track incentive programs with digital badge boards and create digital escape room games. I also generate signups and evaluation forms for online festivals. I store photos and videos, and there's so much more I do with Google Docs and with Google Drive. By the way, I just finished up another escape room game dedicated to sight reading just in time for baseball season. The game is based on the beloved take me out to the ball game and comes with a free arrangement of the tune. So for assignments and lesson notes, I turn to Tanara. Tanara is a platform for creating and sharing multimedia assignments. It also tracks student practice and includes a chat feature to message students between lessons. I wasn't convinced that I needed this deluxe assignment and practice tracker, but the pandemic changed my mind. I'll add a link in the show notes to a blog about why I finally gave in to using Tanara. And if you're interested in giving Tanara a try, I've got an affiliate link and a coupon code. Over the past year, some of my students have committed to a 100-day practice streak, something close to what Charlene Chelsea talks about in episode number seven. The main requirement to be part of my studio practice challenge is to send me a daily audio recording of their practice in Tanara. Here's a sample of what I wake up to every morning. Hi, Miss Lila. I can play my bingo with my eyes shut. Ready? Okay. There's nothing like a fresh cup of coffee and a recording like that to start off the morning. 
Loom is perhaps my most beloved new tool since the pandemic started. Loom lets me record a tutorial or a reminder video for students and instantly generates a link that can be shared via email or text or Tanara. Typically, you record a video on a device and then the file is too big to share, so you must either upload the video to Google Drive or YouTube and then share that link. Loom takes out the middleman and any video you record in the app can be easily shared with a link. I turn to Loom daily to quickly create reminder videos for students that they can watch between lessons. Loom saves me oodles of time and it definitely improves my students' preparation between lessons. Every Sunday, I use the sheet music reader called Fourscore. Fourscore provides a library for digital sheet music and much more. After I scan sheet music with an app called TurboScan, or purchase a digital download, I organize the PDFs in the app on my iPad Pro. Fourscore is available for desktop, but I have not used it yet. Fourscore is a paper-free way to organize sheet music and it works with a Bluetooth page turning pedal. After pairing the pedal with the iPad, a tap of my toe will turn the page for me. I use Fourscore, my iPad Pro, and my page flip drag and fly Bluetooth pedal every week at my church gig. Now, speaking of sheet music, I must share an app that I just learned about recently. It's called Play Score 2. It's really one of those apps that you hoped would become a reality. Now it's here. After taking a photo of sheet music with a smartphone or tablet, Play Score 2 immediately plays back the score with stunning accuracy. This scan and playback can be shared with others who download the app for free. With a professional subscription, the app can export the scan as an XML file to score editors like Finale or MuseScore or NoteFlight. With a couple of swipes, you can transpose and even orchestrate the playback with 19 different MIDI voices. I'm recording this in March of 2022. So if you head over to my Instagram during March of 2022 and search for Leela Viss, you can catch a giveaway for 10 free codes for PlayScore 2. The free code is good for one month pro subscription in which you can take a picture of any score and immediately export it as a MIDI or XML file. It's hard to believe, but this is reality, people. There is now an app for that. As much as I value technology that assists my business, apps that teach and drill concepts are my favorite to curate because they are essential to my curriculum. As I describe in episode number 41, in my studio, students spend 30 minutes of time on the bench with me and then another off the bench reviewing theory concepts, music history, terms, you name it. You can learn more about my off bench time in the show notes. These apps too must pass through a filter that I call stages of learning. I'm saving this topic and sharing all my favorite teaching apps for another episode. So are you feeling overwhelmed by my list? I can see why. There's even a few more I didn't include like NoteFlight, YouTube, and Canva. And I talk about those in my composiums. Seeing how valuable each one of these apps is to me, it may leave you feeling bewildered. So remember, begin with the end. Ask yourself what's the most important aspect of your studio that needs a tech-savvy upgrade. Borrow my app filter to select one for yourself or use one of the tools I recommend. Start with one app at a time. Develop and dedicate time to a system that keeps you using the app every day so it becomes a habit. And equip yourself with an updated computer, smartphone, and iPad. You don't need all of them immediately, but all three will level up your systems. If you're looking for guidance along the way, you might consider setting up a consultation with me. I've got limited availability, so get in touch with me sooner rather than later. The show notes include a way for you to sign up for a consultation, plus links to all the tech tools I mentioned in the episode. All the best to you as you make friends with technology and design a system that works for you. Better now than never, as technology is here to stay. I'm Leela Viss, and see you in the trenches, armed with my favorite tech tools. <laughs>